Hello and welcome to the workshop. Happy Sunday. Appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also, you can hit that little bell icon and be notified every time we upload a video. If you love sneakers, trust me, you have come to the right place. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram in between videos at Mr. Fomer Simpson. Oh, and I also wanted to say, Thank you to everyone who rocks with us. I say us, Buckets, who is behind the camera. Him and I are brothers. We recently hit 500,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And I know that's not anything crazy in the big scheme of YouTube, but to us, it means more than I can even put into words. Uh, so I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you. When we started this channel right here, we never thought it would take us the places that it has taken us, and we owe that to you. So thank you for real. Thank you a million times. We really, really appreciate you so, so much. Um, so I wanted to say that. Now, it's sneaker time, baby. Buckets, give us the drum roll. Brrr, bang, bang. The Air Jordan 5 Fire Red Silver Tongue. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks R For Us for getting us our pair a little bit early. Well, actually, a lot of bit early now. initially supposed to release later this month, March 28th, I think it was, but because of the coronavirus, the release date has been pushed back to April 25th. Hope everyone is staying safe out there, by the way. Definitely be washing your hands and, and just staying as clean as possible. So they pushed the release date back and we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens with this whole coronavirus thing. If it continues to get pushed back, if we really don't know. So as of now, that's what they have it slotted as April 25th and retail is 200 bucks. This is a classic colorway, obviously. A lot of people have been waiting on these. I've been waiting on them. It's a colorway that I love. Originally, the Fire Red 5 released back in 1990, 30 years ago. It's crazy that 30 years later, people still love this sneaker. I mean, I don't know, that's just wild to me. But how good is the 2020 version? Are they worth 200 bucks? Scale of one to 10, where are they at? Let's run through the details. I'll let you know how I feel about them and then ultimately you can decide for yourself. We will also check in with Young Buckets Esquire because we know he is the harshest sneaker critic of them all. So the colorway speaks for itself. White, black, fire red. You got the 3M silver tongue, jump man front and center, Nike lace lock, netting on the sides, Nike air embroidered into the heel. I absolutely love that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Nike Air logo, it just gets me every time. Black midsole, red fighter jet teeth as you can see, mostly clear bottoms with some Jordan and Nike branding as well. Overall, I love the look of them. The quality is something I was actually a little worried about. Whenever we give you an early look, we always like to touch on the quality. When I first saw them, the leather looked really stiff, but the leather is actually much softer than it looks. So that was a pleasant surprise, to be honest. That doesn't mean you're gonna be in awe of the quality and craftsmanship. I mean, it's a Jordan retro, but definitely better than I expected personally. I think there are a handful of colorways on a handful of Jordan models that almost no matter how many times they release, people will want them. And by people, I mean me. 
I'm people. And I know this isn't a sneaker that we've gotten a bunch. I'm just saying in that classic realm. You know, I think this is one of the best Jordan 5s of all time. It has that old school throwback vibe to it. And I love that they gave us the Nike Air on the back to kind of complete that feel. You know, with a Jumpman on the back, it just wouldn't have been the same. I also never owned the OG pair from 1990, and that adds a little something extra. I'm sure some of you can relate. I don't know, I feel like more accomplished or something. You know, a sneaker that you didn't have back then or something that you've seen on Jordan posters and on ESPN Classic Games and all that stuff and now finally you have them in your hand there's something a little extra dope about that and i dig them i'd say they're one of the jordan retros i've been most excited about this year you know so far granted we're only three months in but you know you can take it for what it's worth scale of one to ten i'm giving them an 8.9 out of ten buckets what say you nine and a half damn buckets on almost back-to-back -back videos you're higher than me maybe i have them too low now I'm questioning myself. I guess I only bumped them down because it's not the original. But I mean, 30 years ago, who's got the original? And even if you do, you can't wear it. Yeah, who cares? So maybe I got to bump it up. I got to one up you. I, I can't let you be the higher. I'm going, I'm bumping up 9.6. Going 9.6 to buckets 9.5. So turns out we love this sneaker. They really, really are dope. But actually... I know you're gonna, I can see it in your eyes. I can see the smirk under that mustache. You're gonna try to steal these from me. Okay, okay. It's been well documented that Buckets is a sneaker thief and anything that he ranks above a nine, I know he's gonna go in for the kill. So stay tuned, I'm gonna have to handcuff these. Let us know how you feel. Like them, love them, hate them. Where do you have them on a scale of one to 10? Is it a pair that you're gonna be trying to buy? Are you gonna buy them for retail? Are you gonna try to wait and hope that they go on sale? However you feel, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. Again, thank you so much for 500K. That's just, it's incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, road to a milli. Let's get it. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new sneaker. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. Until then, adios.